Hi there, my name is Dave Carroll, and I'm a church leader in Brantford, Ontario, and uh, I heard about your butterfly effect project that you're doing at Western, and so I wanted to tell you a quick uh, story about my kindness experience and the ripples that came out of it. Uh, years ago, my wife and I we were in uh, we were in Ghana in West Africa, and we experienced kindness as a culture for the first time. It sort of surrounded us, and when we came back to Canada, uh, we realized that our culture is not kind. We're not an we're not an unwarm people, but we're not involved in each other's lives. We're not intentionally doing things for other people. And so, uh, with another group, we bought what was an old bar in downtown Brantford, and we converted it uh, into, into our, our church and sort of mission base. And what we started to do was we looked at the neighborhood around us and the neighborhood around us at that time actually were prostitutes and pimps and crack houses. And these guys only came out at night. And so we thought with the idea that kindness, with the, with, with the supposition at least, that kindness could transform a neighborhood by good into good just by being kind, we set up a barbecue in the middle of the night and we started to give away hamburgers and hot dogs from 10 o'clock at night until after last call at 2 a.m. And what ended up happening was we created this amazing culture of like pimps and prostitutes and eventually politicians and business guys who would sit together and come together around a hot dog this weird common thing what ended up happening is is that some of the people we were able to help in the drug rehab programs and as an extension of it we ended up turning our church into low rental housing because it was transformational for the neighborhood well here's what happened out of that is that uh, we decided to take our kindness project a step further the Santa Claus parade that year the theme was superheroes and so we invented Captain Kindness and we thought this will be a one-off and we put me in a big red leotard on top of the float and said Branford do you believe that kindness could transform your city by good into good <laughs> and I did the big goofy voice <clears throat> and we won the award for the best float but and I, but I thought that's it what ended up happening was I started to get calls from businesses asking about how we could help their business be kind we started getting calls from elementary schools to ask for Captain Kindness to do school assemblies I started hosting things in the city I, I, so I, I lit the city Christmas tree with the mayor and Santa Claus one year. And it was, it's been this amazing ripple effect to the point where now, on all three levels of government, within the business community, within the education community, even within the religious community, the dialogue is now, how do we transform our city with kindness? Kindness has become the, the, the anchor word on how we are restructuring uh, Brantford socially and we're even shooting for economically because while random acts of kindness are absolutely fantastic, our kindness project focus on, on strategic, intentional, coordinated acts of kindness where different sectors of the community are focusing on being kind to one another and then that theoretically will ripple down onto the streets of people being kind uh, one to another. Even we got to the point where last year our MP uh, Phil McCollman stood up in the house in Ottawa and, uh, and, and told the story of Captain Kindness and the Kindness Project and championed our we're, our goal is to see Brantford be the kindest city in Canada. But the reality is, is that we want to see a city transformed by kindness so that we can see many cities transformed by kindness. And so if I can be an encouragement to you, go be kind be strategically kind, be coordinated kind, be intentionally kind, and be randomly kind, because no act of kindness goes, uh, goes without doing something. You never know what it's going to do, but it always does something. And so if you want to follow me on Twitter, I am at Dave Carroll, D-A-V-E-C-A-R-R-O-L, or you can follow Captain Kindness on Twitter at Cap kindness and you can find uh, both of us on Facebook and I encourage you that you are doing a great thing and to make this a lifestyle it will help you in your personal life it will help you uh, in your emotional life and it can actually transform a city take care